Hey, my name is Maxim Ivanov and in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy React applications to Firebase hosting using automated CI pipeline based on GitHub Actions. Subscribe, press like button and let's go! First, we need to set up our React project. I'm going to use Create React App to generate the application structure. I'm going to run npx create React App gh actions react firebase example after it's done go to the application folder cd gh actions react firebase example and here you can launch the app to see if everything works yarn start it should launch the app in the browser if everything is fine we can proceed and set up a firebase project go to firebase console and create a new project let's call it gh actions react firebase example Oh, actually, it should be a bit shorter, so let's stick with uh, JH Actions React Firebase. Continue. We don't need Google Analytics for this project. And now we wait a little bit. Okay, now we click Continue. Next, we are going to set up Firebase Hosting, but we're going to use Firebase CLI to do this. Make sure that you have it installed. For example, using npm, it's done like this. npm install g for global and then Firebase Tools. I already have it installed, so I can just run Firebase login ci this should start the authentication flow in the browser choose your account and login click allow and we are done we used firebase login ci to get the authentication token that we'll use in github action setup it should end up in your console output copy this token and save it somewhere next we need to set up firebase in the project folder run firebase in it it will show you the prompt and you need to select hosting we choose use an existing project and then we pick the project that we've just created, JH Actions React Firebase. When you build the React application, the result is going to be in the build folder. So we should use this folder as our public directory. Specify the build. And here we don't want to rewrite all the URLs to index.html. So we select no. Now you should see the new file called Firebase.json with some settings and also the .firebase.rc file. Cut Firebase.rc. If you have those files, that means that the project was set up correctly and we can proceed and create a GitHub repo. I'm going to use the GH CLI, the official GitHub CLI tool. To create a new repo, I need to run the command GH repo create. I can leave the default repository name, skip the description and make it public. Continue. Okay, the new repo was created and it automatically added the remote to our local Git setup. Now I'm going to add all the new files, git add dot, commit them, add firebase setup and push to the main branch, git push you origin master. Now we can open the repo in the browser and set up the GitHub actions. It's easier to do through the web UI, gh repo view dash dash web. It's going to open your project in the browser. You need to click actions, set up node.js workflow. Rename the file to Firebase YAML. The name should also be Firebase or Firebase CI. In this action, every time the code will be pushed to the branch master or the new pull request will be created, it's going to run the job called build. We don't need to run it in all the node versions. I'm going to leave only the version 14. Also, by default, it will have the NPM setup. I'm using Yarn, so we'll need to change it a little bit. So first, I will need to install Yarn. I add run npm install g yarn after it's done i'll specify another step with name yarn install build and test and then i can remove the existing steps and instead run yarn install and yarn build then i want to set up the next job first we build the project and next we want to deploy it so i create another job call it deploy name should be deploy needs this is the dependency is build so we only run this job after the build is ready. We specify runs on Ubuntu latest, and then we can specify the steps. First, we'll need to check out the repo. You can copy this step from the build job and just paste it here. Then we'll want to actually deploy what we've built on in the previous job. To be able to do this, in the build job, we need to archive the artifact. In our case, the build folder. So we add another step to that job, call this step archive build, it uses the action called upload artifact version 2. And then we need to specify the name of the artifact with name build and the path is also build. After we did this, 
we can now use this artifact in the deploy job. We add another, another step here, name, download, build, uses, actions, download, artifact, also version two, and then the settings with name, build, path, build. After we have the build folder, we can deploy to Firebase. Create another step, name, deploy to Firebase, uses, and here we are gonna use a wrapper around the Firebase CLI. It is called W9JDS Firebase Action from master. And the arguments or the settings should be args, deploy, only hosting, because that's the only Firebase functionality that we want to use. And then we need to specify the environment properties for this action. We do it using the env, and here we need to specify the Firebase token. And this is that token that we got earlier in the console output that I told you to save somewhere. We're gonna put it into the repository settings and they will be available through the secrets variable. Secrets, Firebase, token. We can commit the changes now. Create Firebase YAML. Uh, okay, let's edit the name. I actually made a typo here. Firebase YAML, start commit, commit new file. It will actually automatically trigger the action that will fail now because we need to specify the Firebase token in the settings. Go to the repo settings, go to the secrets, create a new repository secret, call it Firebase token, and paste the token value that you got in one of the previous steps, and click Add Secret. Okay, now you can go to Actions and restart the workflow, because it was failed, uh, because of missing secret. And actually we have another issue here, I had a typo. So this is a good chance to show you how do actions look like in your repository. If you open your project in the code editor, you will see that now, if you pull the changes from GitHub, you will have the new folder .github workflows where you can have all your CI settings in a bunch of different files. So you might have Firebase, you might have a separate file for staging setup if you want to deploy to a different server or even some other workflows. Now let's scroll down and fix the typo. It's download, not done, done load artifact. Commit and push the changes. Git add, git commit, fix, typo in the workflow file push. Now if you go to the actions again, you will see that the action is being run. First goes our build step and then the dependent deploy step or job. Those are jobs and they consist of steps. Okay, now our deploy is complete. We can check the deploy to Firebase step and here you'll find the hosting URL. If you open it in the browser, you should see your React application. And that means that we are done. Okay, that's it. Now you have your basic CI setup to deploy React application to Firebase using GitHub Actions. From here, you can extend it. For example, it's a good idea to have a separate workflow to default staging version of your application, or maybe set it up to have a separate deploy for each feature branch. Doing so will make it way easier to collaborate on your project with other developers. Anyway, if you want to know more about continuous integration and continuous deployments, let me know in the comments or join my Discord server. The link will be in the description. See you in the next video.